Get connected with Take Two Radio on Facebook or Twitter at Take Two Radio. For email updates on future shows, follow at Blog Talk Radio. For previous episodes, upcoming guests, and more, visit Take2Radio.com. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Take Two Radio Soaps and Review. I'm Pam, and joining me today is Tracy and David, and we're waiting for Paula to call in. So just mm-hmm. real quick, I want to give a shout-out to my daughter, Olivia, whose birthday is today, so happy birthday. You'll always be my baby girl, no matter how old you get. And in my mind, you're not getting any older because I'm not, so there. There you go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Olivia. Happy birthday, Olivia. Thanks, guys. Yeah. She's the big 2-5 today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she says she's old now. Uh, No. Oh, Mm -mm. no. We're not going with that. In my mind, she's still the little girl running around the house telling me she wants to be a movie star. Oh. Oh. It goes fast, Trace. <laughs> it goes fast, yeah. How's your baby? Oh, uh, he just woke up from his nap, actually. And he was, I just watched him, started to crawl in his crib, so he's on the move, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually getting his dinner now, so daddy's for good now. I get a chance uh, to call him if he does. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh. You'll have to show us a picture sometime. Yeah, I posted one on. Um, yeah, didn't didn't you see that one? I I Which, saw it. He's a cute one. Where on Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I'll have to go and look. With my Ooh, timeline, my friend Heather Tom retweeted or she commented on it. Oh, okay, cool. I've yeah. I've got Tweet Deck and I've got what seven or eight Twitter accounts, so my timeline is very congested. So I miss gotcha. a lot of tweets. <laughs> Unless I go to somebody's actual Twitter, you know, I may not see all the tweets. So, so check out my Twitter page. You'll see it. Yes, I will do that. Mm-hmm. And Paula is with us. Paula, yeah, how are you feeling? Hi. I'm, I'm, I'm hi, okay. Paula. My voice kind of goes in and out, but I'm I'm feeling okay, so that's good. Oh, good, yes, good. You sound good, Paula. Uh, is it clear? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Maybe we won't have any technical difficulties tonight. So oh, please. Cool. Yes, <laughs> please. Well, we're going to go ahead and start out with the bold and the beautiful. So, David, what's your notes? What's my notes? Oh, I feel so bad for Thomas. Hmm. Tracy? <laughs> I don't. I don't either. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I do and I don't. So what's your thoughts on that, Tracy? Oh, well, my thoughts are he's a little, he's a self-entitled little brat, but Rich is kind of being a little bit hypocritical in some of the right. things that he's saying and accusing Thomas of, but um, I can't, Thomas, just had a bad taste in my mouth when he lied on Brooke with the whole berries business and everything. So ever since then, I've just been kind of done with him, you know? Yeah. And I do and think that, um, the, in the, the part mind, where I, Ridge is lying, you know, about the baby too. So they're both wrong yeah. in many respects. Yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yes. They both, they both are. I mean, Ridge should have come Maybe Ridge should have come clean a little earlier. No, uh huh. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Thanks. Of course. Yeah. I'm glad that they didn't drag it out. Kind of like you know, we'll Ridge I'm, out and blah, 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 I am blah. too. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am too. Yeah. But you know, it's going to drag now. Well, maybe not then. You know, about Thomas finding out that it's actually his baby that she's carrying. Like because I can't imagine him not questioning it because of them yeah. sleeping together. So how right. about, I don't think that Thomas is the father of this kid. I just don't think so. You know I what? I think it's going to be like for some kind of miraculous thing. I, it's going to turn that's to my thought. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it's going to be Ridge's baby? Yeah. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I think what's going to happen is that Thomas is going to question it and, you know, she's going to tell him no, 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 and he'll maybe let it go but have it in the back of his mind or he's going to fight it and ask for a paternity test and either it will get switched (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> or mm-hmm. it's gonna, or it's gonna come out that it's actually Ridge's baby. So, right. I mean, those are the possible storylines that are gonna happen with that. So. Right. right. And, and, are we, oh, sorry, David. I'm Go sorry. Ahead. I was gonna say, are we actually gonna see Thomas go to Paris? I don't no, think so. I don't know. He he's now no. leaving. Tim. Pearson's now leaving temporarily, is he? No, not that I'm aware no. of. Mm-mm. This is all just a smokescreen. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and Ridge all. is wrong for doing that too. Yep. And I, I almost was, can't blame Thomas for punching Ridge out either. No, but I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I thought that he was a little bit out of line because some of the stuff that he was saying yeah was true, but how he was saying that, oh, you were never there for us, blah, 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 blah. He was the only sole parent that those kids had for a very long time. Right. He and Brooke, actually. And even right. Bridget stepped in a That's little bit. That's true. Well. Yeah. But so it's just like, where where do you get off? Yeah, it's it's the child's point of view. That's what... Ex- I was, yes, exactly, David. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's where that's coming from. You know, he only remembers the bad stuff. So he sees him um, going back and forth between his mom and Brooke for years. Mhm. And that's what sticks in his head most. Right. Not that he was there. Yeah, I totally agree. So, moving on to the next one. Oh. Oh God. Um, shall I? Ivy Go being ahead. Ivy doing the lingerie and doing the bedroom line. Was that something that came up today? Because I haven't seen today's. Yeah, That's it came true. up today, but I kind of saw the writing on the wall with that one. She's so God, I just can't stand to be really cute. Yep. Oh, so Steffi like Steffi all. gave her the. The uh, bedroom line? Uh, bedroom, yes. Yeah. And what was her yes. thoughts behind that? She knows that Ivy is self-conscious, and she knows that she's not comfortable with modeling the lingerie, so she's just going to do whatever she can to um, make her feel uncomfortable. What I don't like oh. with the storyline is that it's making Ivy jump through hoops and yeah. you know, grovel at Steffi's feet. I'm thinking, why are you doing the groveling? Yeah, why isn't well, she doing the problem? Yeah, and also it, it just reminds us again of how Rick was when he was in charge. Yeah. So why would Ivy not okay. learn her lesson from that? Mhm. But she did today. I mean, she's like, oh, she said she voiced how she was not comfortable with everything and blah, 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 blah. And Sophie's like, oh, well, millions of people would love to do the da 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 I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm sorry, that's just how I am while I'm watching the show. I just can't remember. But she's like, yeah, whatever, you want me to do it, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll she's going to put her face on and go out and do it. She's going to yeah, show Here's me another thing off. why I'm upset is because now Eric knows everything, but I doubt that Eric is going to say anything to Thorne. Right. Yeah. I'll and I think he should. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly, but then it's like, you know, Eric was talking to Liam and Wyatt. The girl, I found out everything, and I found out the, the truth about how Allie died, and then, you know, the blackmailing and blah, blah, blah. I don't understand why the blackmailing is a big deal. The big deal is, here is is that the girl died. Right. Steffi lied to the police about Steffi it. Lied. She lied to the whole family about it. Yeah, stupid Ivy taped it. I don't know why she taped it instead of interfering. Right, you know, right. intervening, I should say. But mm-hmm. she lied. And yeah. she played crime victim. Yeah. 
Yeah, and and I I find it strange that nobody sees that other than oh. Ivy and Liam, really. I not Liam, oh, uh, Wyatt. Wyatt. I right. yeah, Wyatt. Yeah, right. Liam Liam is just, you know, he's got that dog leash around his corner and does whatever yep. she wants him to do or say. Mm-hmm. Too much with cream. Yeah. So he's not, uh, he's not what else? Wow. The what? He's not gonna he's not gonna he's not going to um at all, you know, confront her with it. He doesn't hit he he doesn't hit have it in him to to do that, to go up against her. He just likes to please her. Yeah, exactly. All he wants to do is please her. And he's gonna and she's gonna end up taking terrible advantage of him. Right, well I mean finally her true colors are starting to show. Yeah. I mean, and the, the other thing that he had was hope for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other thing too is is with Liam, you know, I what was it Quinn brought up a good thing she about him. Only, you know, he's no. the golden child too, and he's you yeah. know I didn't even think about it at the time until she said it. You know, he's vice president or whatever he is a Forrester, and then he's also whatever at um, at Bill's company. Spencer. Yeah, it's Spencer P- Pub. At Spencer, so why not Wyatt at Spencer? I don't understand yeah, that. Well, Bill, Bill already made the comment that when he says that Wyatt yeah. isn't as smart as Liam, and yeah. that Wyatt yeah. has more Quinn's DNA, Quinn. where yeah. she's more, where he's more irrational than Liam, and that um, I don't know, he just favors Liam more. He kind of just said it. Even though he right. said it to say, get yeah. under her skin, but I think that he really meant it, and I thought that was I do really too. Good for a parent to say. Right, I do too. I believe That's the really same thing. thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's no reason he can't give him some type of job over there to you know see how he works in yeah. some kind of position. You know, mm-hmm. even if he's a, a manager of one department or something, give right. the kid a chance. Let him work his way right. up. Right. Yeah, let him so know. I would say, like, I would guide him, not even, if he doesn't want to invest into a fashion house or creating a fashion house, which I don't know why, because he already has a piece of a fashion house. Right. I would say guide him into um, how to start up the business, you know, guide him in that way. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, well, exactly. you have the right investors that you need to use. You try this, help him with, like, a business plan or whatever okay. if he doesn't want to get his get involved in it financially. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and then Katie can also do the same thing with Wyatt. I mean, she knows the business. Yeah, she So, uh, again, I'm going to say I'm not sure why Katie didn't step up and say to Bill, well, that's okay, you know, we'll do it. Katie's got money. Yeah, yeah she, I think because she did say that, yeah, she's like, I'll help them. I'll help them do it. I really want to do it. Right. I so why that, didn't she stand up marriage, to him? And why didn't she stand up to him when? Because she's to more of like a partner. I think this time, or not a partner, I should say, more of a okay, then I'm going to let you take the lead type of thing in this marriage this time, the second time around. I think that she's going to have his back, like no matter what, rather than challenge him like the way that she did before. At least mm. this is, that's my perception of this time around with with. Baby. Well, you know, mm-hmm. that makes sense. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, she's a strong, powerful woman on yeah, her own. Is. And for yeah. her to step back like that completely, because there should be 50-50 in a marriage. And if that's the case, that's how she's going to be for this marriage. She is giving him full control mm-hmm. of her life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So, so yeah. guys, with I'm sensing stupid Maya and Rick now, she's going to want to have a kid, and she's going to ask Nicole to be a surrogate. I guarantee it. That money. 
Yeah. Oh, I saw an mm-hmm. article that I posted, but I didn't read it because, of course, I don't like to read spoilers. But I saw I something about it. that sh- they were going to want to start a family. And, uh, yeah, Nicole makes perfect sense. Yep. And then this is going to be the rift between her and Zenday because she's going to want to do it, and Zenday's like, nah. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. I didn't I didn't um see that coming either and I usually try and catch everything. Mm-hmm. That sounds mm-hmm. that sounds that sounds good. At least they're mm-hmm. they're, you know, taking that they're trying to take that step in the next phase for them. Mhm. Mm-hmm. See how difficult it's going to be. Yep. Well, I'll say it for the 99th time. I think that her parents should be around, especially if she's going to have a baby. Yeah. I agree. I agree. That's That's going to be their their grandchild, so they should be involved. Another storyline dropped. I still want to see how the parents interact with her, and I want to see Papa Avon, like, evolve in the storyline. Hopefully he can... Roll with them. Try to at least. I want to see the struggle. I want to see right. the struggle. Like, you know, it's just again, it's just law. This is true. That's what I. That's what I want to. And I. So much time. I I tweet that on Fridays when I do my FS. Yes. I tweet uh, for for Olba and for Anna. And I tag Bold and the Beautiful to it and say, we want them back. There's still more story or something. I always put that in there. So when you see that tweet go out, be sure to retweet it and tell them the same thing. But apparently, I mean, it's not really a big deal because we're wasting so much time with Steffi whining about blackmail and blah, 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 when a real decent storyline could actually come out. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, any other storyline for B&B, and we can move on to Y&R? Um, no, none that I can think of right now. I'm just thinking how is Brooke going to react when she finds out that Caroline's pregnant. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that one. That's going to be funny. Yeah, that's going to be good, because you know darn well Ridge is going to, like, beg her not to say anything. Yep. May, yeah. And maybe maybe threaten to send her to Paris or something. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or they're just going to have they... the same dialogue for a week. And they're yeah. going to walk with the door open. And then somebody's going to overhear. And you, you know how it is. Yeah. 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 But, you yeah. know it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I'm done with bold. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. Why and David. Very hot. Why and R. Let's, let's start <clears throat> off with... Hillary's ransom note. Yeah, that, I think that's Colin. That has to be Colin that wrote that, right? I don't know, Paula. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Gwen did it. I don't know. You think Gwen did it? Gwen. Gwen is pathetic. I mean, I just have to say she is just so like following Neil you know around what? like a puppy dog and doing everything for him. And she's desperate. She's desperate. I'm... Very desperate. Yes. And I do think it was yeah, Colin. Just so, now I'm thinking about it, I think Colin did it. Because Colin knows something's up. Well, and he was spying on oh. them. Uh, when was it yesterday's show? He was spying on them talking about it. Yeah, that's what it made me think back to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking it's either Colin or Gwen. I, I tend mm-hmm. to be more towards Gwen like Tracy is. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, and that makes sense to me in a way to why she's being the way she is with um, with Neil, you know, mm-hmm. being on his side because she has an a, agenda, not just love. Yeah, she's gorgeous mm-hmm. though. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. She's absolutely I beautiful. Just, I was just thrown that she would. I was just um, surprised all of a sudden that she wanted to. Stay with him like that, and I said, "Well, there has to be some." Well, she just kind of clinged right on to him, you know. It was like she just all of a sudden she was deeply in love with him. It just Mm -hmm. seemed weird. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
it, too it, much too it, fast, it, it, just like just like Noah and um, Marissa. Mar- Mar- Marissa. Yeah. yeah, that was so. a, that was a strange hookup anyway because she dated Marco, who is you know Jack's age. Jack, so. Mm-hmm. And supposedly they had known each other for years, so how much older is she than Noah? Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, exactly. That's what I wondered, too. Because, I mean, although if you look at both of the actors, they kind of could be the same age, but she still does look older than him. Yeah. Yeah, I think Marissa looks older. I think Marissa has probably got a couple, eight to ten years on him, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. But do you guys like them together? Yeah, I, I like them I together. I do, too. Yeah, yeah, I do, too. They're okay. They're okay. I like them together. I mean, I I think it, I think it's a riot that we have to suspend um, disbelief. Yeah. Or disbelief <laughs> because of the age ranges and then how, how fast the children grow up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the math yeah. doesn't yeah. add up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so who do we think knocked her out, mugged her? Oh, no I idea. Think that she probably staged that herself. You think she staged you? it? Maybe yeah. just to try and get yeah. back in Noah's good graces because Noah was done with her. Well, maybe that could be because I can't think of anybody that knocked her out unless Marco had somebody do it. Um, right. Other than that, that's what I wondered at first too. Mm-hmm. Or her father, or, or his Lucas' father. family. Luca's family. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that too. Heck, maybe Luca did it. <laughs> no, Luca did. Well, Luca, Luca said he didn't. Well, yeah, he when do we believe so every so word that know. comes out of their mouth? <laughs> he, while he's acting, he's telling Noah. He was telling Noah that he didn't do it because Noah was. He seemed to be him. telling the truth. The the way that it was the the scene went yesterday or whenever it was because I watched him like in a row like seven or eight episodes. Um, he seemed to be sincerely telling the truth that he didn't have anything to do with it. But you know who knows? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, we we'll have to see. Well, Maybe she'll yeah, dream about that. it or something. Who knows? Yeah. It all depends on whether the writers want to write that in later, as a you know, because mm-hmm. they rewrite things all the time. So. Yeah, they like they like to rewrite a little bit. Yeah. Here and there. And so. how about the uh, reveal of Adam? Is everybody happy with that? Yeah, um, I think they yeah. did it right. They did it better than GH yeah. is doing with uh, Jason. Yeah, I'm. I I was happy and and I I just uh, this whole thing was um, incredible. I think they handled it pretty well. Yeah. The only thing is now Adam is in a boatload of trouble yeah. in <laughs> in so many it. different respects. So yeah. how is this going to come down to clear Adam to make him not go to jail and pay for well, well, things that he to. may or may not have done? Did you see like, today's yet? No. Not not today's yet. Yet either. I you either. You didn't see it. Tracy, did did you see it already? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what happened today? I mean, something with him in this regard? No, I don't think there was a Well, you know he was arrested. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he was arrested yesterday. Mm-hmm. He didn't fight it. He's not fighting anything. He's not fighting anything because he feels deep down in his soul that he actually did do it. But the viewers know that he didn't do it. He did yeah, not and Michael... Michael Michael's uh, advocates. Michael's advocating for him, trying to. Yep. Is it because Michael believes that he's innocent in that or just to Michael do believes it? <laughs> everyone Michael believes we we don't know I like the way he's thinking he's thinking objectively. Yeah. yeah. He's saying everyone deserves their chance in court. Mm-hmm. To fate and to prove themselves, and um, we have to hear 
his side of the story. Mm -hmm. Okay, but with that said, Mm -hmm. Adam believes he did it, so how is that going to change? Didn't he come clean? He he basically confessed. Yeah, he did confess, but Michael's going to find a loophole. Something is going to happen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, once they said, oh, well, Michael's going to advocate for him, I was like, okay, well, this proves that. He didn't do it because Michael doesn't lose anything. This is Michael Baldwin. I know, right? <laughs> and I think that Victor, no, I, I hate to say that, but it's true. It is, I know. It's true. And I, well, oh. Victor, I, I'm going to be I'm gonna be thrown out there, but I think that Victor, even though he hates Adam, he loves Adam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and definitely. The scenes that they had, I mean, here or he was like, listen, you had the opportunity to start your life over again, blah, 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 blah. You had your son. Right. That's what you wanted. Victor's all about family, pretty much. Yeah, I no matter what I mean, what way he handles it. Exactly. He didn't do it. I think the real Gabriel Bingham killed that kid. Mm-hmm. Or Sage had something to do with it. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Sage, I mean, how obvious was it, at least to me it was, that Adam was going to be the one to deliver that baby. Once, when she yeah. started beating, when she started pushing him around, I just knew shit was going to happen. Yep. She's stupid. <laughs> that was so stupid. She's so stupid. She was trying to stay <laughs> home from that, and then all of a sudden she's like. <laughs> yeah. why, why, why is she Thank pushing you. him and why is she carrying on? I told her that... What does she think? That it would never come out? Duh. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People I, I, I thought it was ridiculous. Um, I did read one thing um, mm-hmm. that about the baby's name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yep. So true. they're going to name him Christian. Now, I don't, I am assuming that came out today, but... And that's yeah. the first spoiler I've ever read. It just had got my curiosity too much to find out what they they named him. So Christian, oh, I forgot Andrew. his middle name, but after the, like Andrew. the Andrew, yeah, Andrew. Andrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm actually shocked that Sage went along with that. Yeah, well, Sage picks Christian. I know. Sage I'm I'm Christian. surprised. Oh, it's Nick's Nick's middle name too. I know, name, but you think they give a given name? Yeah. Name him after Victor? Oh, because of the, is that what you're thinking? Um, well, that's where Christian comes from, so right. you know. That why, that's why you were surprised. Yeah. I mean, okay. The yeah. Well, look how she feels I'm about thinking. Victor. She thinks he's yeah. going to steal the baby, like he, you know, has done things with the other babies. She yeah. just wanted to be all up. She just wanted to make sense. And Victor wasn't checking for her at all. She just wanted to be like, oh, well, what if Victor does this to me? Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then she knew that her ass was guilty anyway, so she was just trying to get through. She's boring. She can go away. Oh. She's another one that could just leave. I wouldn't miss her at all. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Sorry, Kelly oh. Sullivan. You're great, but that character sucks. I love Sorry. you, Kelly Sullivan. Yes, yes. As always, listeners, we love the actors. We hate some of the characters. Yeah, it's all—it's the way they're written. Written. It's not that it doesn't have anything to do with the actors. Right. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Paula, do you so. like Sage? Yeah, not really. You know, I think she's a little bit boring, like like yeah. Tracy said. Um, mm-hmm. She's gotten a little better than she was when she first, you know, started. But uh, I don't yeah. know what they're going to do with her from this point on. Her secret's already been revealed. That was the most That's interesting part that about she her. She killed the kid. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That she's probably wondering who hit the who hit Delia. Yeah. What be. other point is there? What other point is there for her to be there? I mean, I don't. I don't no. Yeah, it was Either a little bit weird that, that real Nick Gabriel just kind of it. fell in love with her like he did anyway. Yeah. Like he just found her in the woods and all of a sudden it's like well i'm single now so you're my next love interest <laughs> <For real. laughs> For real. you know he went out, 
to try to but get away from funny. everything, and he decided that, you know, he was going to stay single for a while, and before you knew it, he was married to her. So. Right. I found funny how Victoria was just like, yeah, don't worry, I can call Michael, I can get, we can get this annulled, and blah, 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 blah. My and God. Was all like, oh, Victoria, please, and she's like, what? Oh, my God, get off you know? your high horse woman. No, I loved when Victoria did that. I, I love that she I said that. It. Yeah. She was sticking up for her brother. Yeah. She was Definitely. sticking up for her brother. She was like, please, mm-hmm. let me take care of this for you. She was pulling a Victor, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she was. was. She was pulling Victor. Yeah. And then that Nikki, I, I, was, I was glad when Nikki, see how Nikki, like I said, Nikki is learning not to be like Victor because she says this is something for Nicholas and Sage to work out for themselves. We shouldn't be here. Yeah. She right. only said that because I think she likes Sage because it was the Well, that's Sharon. what kills me. She would have died. I, why does she like Sage? Why? I don't know. Yeah. Why I does Sage know. She I doesn't have. know her. Yeah. I guess because she's not Sharon. <laughs> I guess because she's not Sharon. Oh, and Phyllis. And Phyllis. Well, Phyllis, Phyllis, Phyllis was with Jack. And Phyllis kind of interfered with Nick's life like that as the other woman. So Right, right. But I'm saying, you know, Nicky him. hasn't liked one of the girls that he's been with. Yeah, and, now, and she knows them. Yet yeah. she she loves Sage and doesn't even know her. And especially yeah. after the truth came out that Sage knew that Gabrielle or, or Adam was Gabrielle, you know, why well, didn't Nikki get pissed off then? Because she knows that she, I think because still, number one, A, she likes her, number one, B, it's not Sharon. So they don't have that um, that baggage. And C, I think it's because she knows how, Manipulating Adam could be. Does she get okay. her so Why does mm-hmm. why does Sage get a free pass? Yeah. When exactly. Sharon has an excuse. She should. You know, mm-hmm. Sharon's she sick, should. so she has an excuse yeah. for her behavior. Sage doesn't. Right. None yet. Right. That anyway. Yeah. At least not yet. <laughs> I know it, it is something. How they do it. Maybe right. she just doesn't want to like add more stress to Nicky. Add more fuel to the fire. But I'm telling you, if it was drunk Nikki, drunk Nikki would have had some to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's so Where's drunk Nikki when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should have left her drugs a little while longer so we can see right? what she can say about that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been good. So, yeah, well, let's hope that oh. Sage is the one that killed Delia and maybe she'll be written off into uh, the sunset somewhere or jail. I, yeah. I hate to say it, but I really just, I have no investment whatsoever with that character and especially not with Nick. No, they're boring together. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they are. Um, what was I going to say to you guys? Oh, cre- uh, patty cakes. Yeah. Oh, patty cake. I love me some patty cakes. That's I'm patty super cake, happy that cake. she's back, but you guys yeah. explain something to me. I'll try. Um, all right. Now, Sharon, as we know, wanted to get pregnant again, so that way Dylan didn't know that she lost the baby, yet she signs right. herself into the insane asylum again yeah. to get some help. But... Right. But and she's walking around saying she's pregnant, but then the doctor who has no right to speak about anybody's personal lives with another person, let alone another nutcake. You brought <laughs> she tells Patty that Sharon is really pregnant. What's going on there? I, I didn't that doctor is not really a doctor or something. Right, go on maybe with your. Maybe that doctor, maybe that doctor's crazy as hell. Who knows if she's going around playing doctor? I don't know, but that that's does not one. make any sense at all. That, that's one. Paula, what do you think? 
you know, I don't know. I'm confused about this one too. I don't. She she completely violated HIPAA uh, yep. by doing that. Um, I don't. I'm like you. I don't know why she would even be having intimate conversations with patients outside of therapy. Anyway, uh, it just. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's a. It's weird. I don't know why they're what they're trying to get at with her. I don't either. I'm. I'm very lost. I mean, normally yeah. you can. You can predict a storyline right. or at least at least get close to it. But this one has really got me wondering what is going on. I'm I'm sort of with you, Tracy. I don't think she's a doctor, but then again I think yeah. she is a doctor, but she's being paid maybe by somebody. Yeah, maybe. I, I you know I don't know. It's yes, just yes, weird. That's my other one. And guess who I think that the person behind her is Victor. That's my other. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Well, of course, Victor's our first choice. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe because this is this is the reasoning, and I got this, I got this off of Facebook. Um. All right. Someone well, someone posted this about that case. It says she thinks that. Victor is behind the doctor because he he doesn't want her he doesn't want Nikki to have another gra- have a grandchild that isn't a Newman. Oh. And and just another tie to Dylan. I don't think so. No, that I don't know. Mm-mm. Could he go that no. far? No, no, no. That's, that's just. Fair. I that's mean, Victor fair. would go that far, kids. but that doesn't yeah, he, make sense. He would go he that has two far. Kids outside of Vicky. That's not right. Yeah, Adam I, is not like Nikki and Victor's kid. And neither is Adam. So no, that's not fair. I don't. Yeah. Think he's not. Yeah, I you mean, Victor really might don't. be doing it for another reason, but I can't understand why because you would think that. If he was paying the doctor, then the doctor would say that Sharon wasn't pregnant. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and why involve Patty in any of it? Mm-hmm. Because Patty is Paul's sister. Patty is just sister, an accident. Which is, which is Patty is Paul's sister. Yeah, and but I mean, why would Victor care whether she was involved? But well, why would Victor, Victor do that? Yeah. yeah. Exactly, that's why it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's, yeah it I don't know. Sense. It's And it may just be poor rotting right now. And that is true. That is so, true. Not to jump ships, guys, but what, is still the cop? No. no. I never no. saw him take a test. No, he's no. not a cop. He's no. not even technically working for the police force. I, he's doing so all this as a private citizen. I don't okay. know how, but he is. Okay. It's, yeah, okay. it's. I think they should have just gone ahead and made him a cop because he's Me doing too. all this anyway. Mm-hmm. For real. Mm-hmm. For real. And, and, and how stupid was it that um, the location device inside the the nutrition, yes. like yes. he was away from his desk when it was when it was binging, and yes. then that the other cop saw it and was like, "Oh, signal lost." Really? That's all they had yeah. to do was step on it, and that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it's going to destroy it. <laughs> Some things are just so stupid, uh, you yeah. know. And, and, okay. and it, it, it yeah. kills me because, you know, they think fans don't have brains or what? Right. We can't yeah. figure right. these things out. Right. right. We can. Yeah, we've That's been watching. That's why we have so many complaints. <laughs> I'm telling you. But do we think that the writing for Y&R has gotten any better? On certain storylines um, with um, Adam and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But other things? I, I have enjoyed, when you hear me say that I love the episode, that means, I mean, even though there's nothing special, maybe nothing special, but I think it was, I think they ha- everything was handled was well. Lovely. That was great, yeah. Well, the only complaint I have, the only complaint I have about the Adam thing, 
is yeah. how vindictive Chelsea is being. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because she went from one way, you know, of loving him and supporting him to this total vindictive bitch, I'm just going to come out and say it, when where, she found out she, where she only, uh, you know, pre- pretty much wishes he was dead somewhere. And, and it just didn't make sense that way. I mean, she I knows how he where, is. I, but I kind of see where she's yeah, coming she's from. Dead. I think her breaking point was when he hooked up and worked with Ian Ford. Yep. And Ian with who? Is Ian Psycho. Ian. Oh, with Ian, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and maybe she's trying to... breaking point. Maybe she's trying to go around severing as many ties to, to Adam as she can um, so that she doesn't go back to him. She's, like, maybe trying to make sure that she ruins any chance that they have of getting back together so she doesn't, like, victimize herself by going back to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. But, but yeah. try. I see what Pam is saying. And... But I do think that that kind of was like the last straw because she she went through a lot already. But looking up yeah. with Ian Ward, I mean, this guy like freaking brainwashed Mariah or whatever, put her in the whole cult and everything, and he's crazy. He's mm-hmm. funny, right. but he's crazy. Yeah. He's yeah, well, crazy we knew when he like, hooked up with the devil that, uh, you know, the this, this stuff was going to start happening and it was going to backfire yeah. on him. And, and I, I still Victor can't Victor figure out why he hooked up with Ian of all people, though. Right. Because, and how did Victor because and he hates Victor as much as he does. Yeah. He finds a ticket to Victor as much as he did. So why not Ian Ward? I don't know. Yeah, right. I, I just and, think that he could have come up with stuff himself. Paula, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, how did Victor and Nick find the hacker? I know that. He um, got... No, how did Victor and Nick find the hacker? Yeah, he didn't find him. Chelsea told him. Who told? I missed him. Missed something because who told him? Chelsea. No, I mean the actual hacker, the one they brought in for questioning yesterday. Oh, oh. Um, how did, he that, had someone go. Topher guy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 He yeah, just came in the room out of nowhere. Had I mean, if they could have oh, found well, him that fast, you. why didn't they find him months ago? Right. Yeah, that w- That didn't make sense to me. There you I go. I didn't understand why he had they brought him in and I was like, Did I miss something? How did they find him? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I you know, I guess it was a kind of uh, behind the scenes thing, but it again, bad yeah. writing because it right. doesn't let us know how that came about, how they found him now and not previously. Yeah. So yeah, we when they that. had so many experts working on it. Right, mm-hmm. and they just all of a sudden brought him in for questioning, and I, I was just like, did did I blink or something? And, you know, yeah. how did they, <laughs> you know, where did they get his name? Right. I don't know. Maybe Kevin? That's Yeah, maybe from that Twitter, not Twitter handle, but from whatever the handle was he was using online, yeah. maybe from that. Oh, but maybe that it happened one? really fast. Mm-hmm. Well, and mm-hmm. Kevin just did start investigating that for Victor, so maybe that is how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, anything else on YNR? Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, well, speaking, I'm going to speak as a man. Justin actually broke my heart yesterday. He, uh, if you check this, he. He asked Michael, Adam asked Michael if he could use his phone. Oh, yeah. Right? And he uses the phone so he could call Chelsea. He calls Chelsea from the police station. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I was getting all choked up, and he's saying he he wanted to apologize to her. And he says, I'm sorry that I couldn't be the man for you that you Mm -hmm. always wanted. And he says, I want you to, he says, I want you to be free and 
and just go on as if I had died in that accident Ooh, and make the best of your life. And let, please always remember, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> well, sorry. I, I did not up. see that part, and I watched yesterday. So, so that oh, had, so yeah. Good, that's yeah. that's, that's so today, good. honey. That's today. Oh, well, you so said good. yesterday. Yeah, well, that's when I saw it. I saw the Canadian. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't seen today's yeah. yet. No, yeah, that's I haven't it. either. Yeah, he calls and he says, I want you to go on with your life okay. without me. I want you to know, tell Connor that I'll always love him, and I love you. And okay. Well, then me and Paula will have to catch up later when we we watch it. Right. We'll cry later when we watch it. I know, yeah, right? Gonna- you're going to cry Although, your eyes. Although there's, there's things that David, you know, will tell me, oh, I, you're going to love this episode or something, and I watch it. And, and this is where people's opinions differ. Yeah, and I'll right. watch it, and, yeah. I'll, and I'll say, I didn't find anything exciting about that episode. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it's just it, dev- it depends on the individual. It's but, just well, um, yeah, how do you interpret it. I thought uh, it was yeah, good because I thought I, I, as well. If you yeah. something up, you're bound to be disappointed in it once you see it for yourself. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, okay, I think that's it on Y&R. Um, so, let's move on to General Hospital. And, Tracy, we can let you go unless you have right. something else. Do you have anything else, yeah. Tracy? No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so, but... General Hospital, when are they coming out with um, when is Billy Miller going to be Jason and how is that going? Cause um, no, it's supposed to be what I read on November 6th. Yeah. So does he know that he's Jason now? No. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. They are dragging this out. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous how long they have dragged this secret out. It's, it's yeah. over well, Robin. Yeah. Robin knows, right? Robin knows that it's Jason. Yeah. Yeah, Robin knows that it's Jason, but I, you know, I guess Helena still has her. Is that the official? I think. Oh my God! Give me a okay. So and and that's that was like over a year ago, wasn't it? When that happened? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we haven't heard thought. anything since. Yeah, okay. we got another stinking month before that comes out, and I'll tell you what: mm-hmm. if it doesn't play out like the Adam reveal. It's it's really not worth waiting for. No, wow. it really isn't. Well, all right, guys, let me go back and check up on my okay downstairs give, and see if my house is still in order. <laughs> <laughs> give Alexandra a hug from us and thanks give for Alex joining us tonight. Okay, well, you, you I have will, a good guys. night, Tracy. Oh, uh, you too. Great. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I really, okay, you know, I think that that. Adam reveal they really hit pace exactly right. I think yeah. DH has already messed up by less long. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Now, just so you guys know, the last episode I saw was Fridays. Um, I started to watch Mondays, but I ran out of time. And so the last thing that I saw for Monday, which was only a few minutes, was um, – Sam accepting Patrick's um, marriage proposal, and That's stupid. The last thing I saw too. And, and stupid. Um, <laughs> what's her name that slept with Dante? Oh, uh, Valerie. Valerie. Yeah, stupid Valerie telling Dylan that she slept with him. Yeah. Right, and it was recorded. It was recorded. It was recorded. I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that uh, kid that was filming uh, yeah. left his uh, video camera in there to charge, quote unquote. Charge, oh my gosh! And it was running. So yeah, it's oh, somebody yeah. will see the tape at some point. So oh yeah, right. yeah. And I saw Sam open the door to Laura. Now I just my opinion only. Laura is going to make the blocks fall down and reveal that. Jake is Jason because she feels guilty holding this all in all this time and she's going to reveal. I could be wrong, but 
I uh-huh. have a feeling she she's going to have a hand have a hand in it. Well, you saw Laura saw Nicholas with um, Hayden. Hayden. Hayden, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and she's getting all. Um, she is getting um, quite curious now, and trying to figure out why she's here, and she she knows that. Um, Something's up, and she knows that she can't remember anything, and she still, you know, she's very cautious around her son. I think she's afraid of Nicholas right now because of what Liz told her. Yeah. And well, Nich- Nicholas is saying, can't you love me anyway? Look at all the things that my family has done. Look all that Luke has done and you still stood by him. So he was saying this to Laura? Nick is saying that to his mom. Yeah, Laura. Okay, yeah. Why Why can't you just stand by me? That's the gist. Yeah, well, you know... Oh, here we go. Right when I have to do my show, the dog next door has to come out and start barking, and then then my dogs are going to start. So be ready. I'm just forewarning you. (laughs) Yeah. Well, what else is... Okay, so let's go back to the Valerie Dillon stuff. Um, Yeah. Basically, Valerie... Do you think that this pregnancy is going to come to fruition? Do you think that she's going to have the baby or lose the baby? I. It would be nice if she lost the baby. <laughs> but, um, I agree. Because um, <laughs> I know, because we don't want the baby. Right. <laughs> we viewers don't want the baby. Right. Because there's right. enough turmoil just with him sleeping with her. Right. Right. Well, I think that right. was stupid too. Just uh, together. Um, um, the other thing. Oh, um, I think I caught it that Nathan found the pregnancy test. Ew. <laughs> Where did she take it? In her, at in her bag. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like so wait a minute. She took that pregnancy it. test a while ago, didn't she? And she's carrying it around in her purse? <laughs> yeah, that gets me. She found something that gave him cause to I mean, I think it was, I think it had something that was either, yeah. I, I believe it was. Well, but, I don't. Uh, maybe it was a piece of paper or something. I can't see carrying around a pregnancy stick. <laughs> you know, or maybe, or maybe like another so sample. Or I mean, you like what is that? Like she might have had two of them in there, and not even yeah, like or, a, like yeah, like it wasn't the used one. It was a new one. Well, let's yeah. hope so. Yeah, I mean I that's what I'm. So. That that would, would be pretty hope. gross. <laughs> right. I would hope that she wouldn't carry around the pee stick in her purse. Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. And and then when I was listening to Nathan and Maxie talk, is Nathan getting jealous of Dylan? Uh, of Dylan because yeah. Maxie's in the yeah. movie. Yeah, I think he is. Oh, I don't want Maxie and Nathan to break up. They just got together. I know. Yeah. I don't much think they will, at least not right now. I hope not. And I surely do not want Maxie with Dylan. No. No, I don't think Dylan does either. No, he doesn't. He wants Lulu. Yeah, he wants Lulu. So, And he may end up getting her once the truth comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, now, again, it's only my opinion, but this Dylan isn't working for me. Really? 
I like yeah. him. You like him? Yeah, I do. Paula, I like like him. Him. Paula likes him. Pam does not like him. Yeah. What do you it's think? It's not that I don't like him. It's just well, you know what? I'm so used to even though it's Scott. been a million years since Scott played Dylan, that's the only Dylan that plays in my head. Right. See, I don't remember Scott too much in in the role. I know he used to and I know uh and I think I just saw him briefly, but I never I don't think I ever Well, Scott does. I know Scott he did. Scott was a hell of a Dylan. I loved him as Dylan. And and this kid just he seems can... too young to be the Dylan that he's supposed to be today. Maybe that's another thing. Yeah. You think? You I think can he's kind of see younger that. than Scott? Do you think he's younger than Scott? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't matter real age of the real actor. I think that the oh. character is playing young. too young. He looks too young to me. Yeah. Yeah, he could be a little. Well, how old would Georgie be? I don't know. It 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 really doesn't matter. It's just my opinion. Um, what else is going on on GH, Paula? Um. Oh. Well, what I was going to say earlier when we were talking about Sam and Patrick and all that, um, how quickly do you think it's going to take Carly to kill Elizabeth when she finds out that she's been basically keeping Jason hidden away? Um, um, like 30 seconds, if that. 30 seconds. Right. She's going to 35 seconds. Kill her. She will absolutely oh, kill her dead. Yeah. I mean, it's... I could just see it when Sonny was in the hospital, or I guess he still is in the hospital. I'm like four episodes behind, I think. So, um, yeah, I could just see that. I was like, yeah, Curly is going to absolutely murder her. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth's going to have to leave town or something. Um, Well, between Sam and Carly, you know, who's going to get to Elizabeth? Who gets to Elizabeth first? Right. I th- I think that Carly would fight Sam just to be the one to be able to kill <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> well, let's yeah, hope that doesn't happen be. because no matter how bad Elizabeth is being right now, I do enjoy her character. I just think that she needs to be doing something else with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm also I'm also fighting myself because I like Sam with Patrick. But I also like Sam yeah. with Jason. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's it's nice when you have that. That's what makes the story work. If you got an equal amount of investment in both sides. Right. And no one is really wrong, and no one is really right. You know, I think it would have been interesting if, if Patrick had said some family. About Jason being love. I'm sorry, kind of, Paula. I didn't hear a word you said because you kind of were going. It was going in and out. Say it again. I um, kind of think that it would have been interesting at some point if Patrick had found out Jason was alive. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just yeah. To kind of see how he would handle it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, so we'll have to what wait. What went on? What? I'm sorry? I was going to say, there's not a whole lot else going on on GH right now. It's a little slow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Since the new writers started, it's definitely a lot slower. Yeah. Yep. And they just started, um, Tuesday was the first episode. Okay. Well, see, I haven't seen Tuesdays yet, so. No. I think no. I know and, and was. Yeah. And as far as the new writers, didn't they have some input to these past scenes, like the past couple of weeks? Like some things were changed. I thought I read that somewhere. Like some things were rewritten. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. I'm I, not sure about that. Okay. Just, well, it's just it, been moving yeah. slower, whether it was the new writers or the old writer, who I uh, love and adore. Um, 
the other thing is, before we move on to days, because poor Car- uh, Carolyn's been hanging for an hour now, um, <laughs> is Sunny, um, you know, because when I post things on Facebook and on Twitter, you know, I see the captions. I don't go in and read the stories, but I see the captions, and the caption was, you know, the fans are not going to be happy because Sonny's going to be paralyzed. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm assuming it was from the bullet. Yeah. The bullet left some fragments that didn't come out and... Oh. Well, you know, I Paula dropped. Paula she was dropped having a me. she was having a bad connection there for a few minutes. It was hard to hear her. She was going in and out. Um but as far as Sonny is concerned, I'm wondering if this is gonna be enough once he's paralyzed, uh, to get him out of the mob, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Ava's on her high horse right now. Well, of course. She's got the upper hand. Yeah. Yeah, and and we know how that's going to go. It's going to go back and forth. You know, something's going to happen. I just hope that no matter what happens, Ava is one of those villains that we love to hate and hate to love, you know. And it'll stick around, hopefully. Right, exactly. Exactly. And although the black hair didn't look bad on her, I'm so glad she's back to her blonde hair, but that's a girl I thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also a guy thing. I like Maura better with her blonde hair, too. With the blonde, yeah. I think yeah. it was just that black wig was just, you know, not done well. So, but anyway. Yeah, it wasn't um, done well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> other thing. All right. Now, well, I ta- I taped it the other day. One day, um, I was listening to it, and then all of a sudden it just stopped on me, and my DVR didn't work. It stopped in the middle of tape. So I only had like half an episode the other day. So I think um, I know that um, Paul had called Sloan in for a, a meeting. A meeting. And, and then he killed uh, him. And then he killed him. Right. Yeah. Right. I did not see that part. I think that's what I never taped that. And I think that was probably what I meant. didn't come on. So I'm wondering yeah. if that. What, can you remember what day that was? Or No, no. But he killed him and Anna saw it. So. Um, well, oh, wait. Anna saw it? Anna yeah. saw Paul, Paul do it? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> I didn't know yeah. that part. Yeah, so you'll have to go back and watch that. i got to find it. Yeah. i got to find it someplace. Anna saw Paul kill Sloan, and right. now she's got to live with that. Right, right. Um, and and he actually sort of did her a favor because Sloan was the only other person that knew that Anna had killed Carlos. Right. So. Um, and they want Carlos, and Carlos was named as the one who killed Sonny, who shot exactly. Sonny. Right. Exactly. So Paul's trying, like I said, Paul's trying to mop up the scum that's there so he can be the only scum left. Exactly, exactly. Did I say so, it better this time than the last time? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the truth. It's the truth. I'm trying to think what else. Um, and Michael, I going think the le- the, Michael going to the family um, meeting. Mm-hmm. It, it, meeting. It, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess it was better than Morgan going because Morgan will flip out at the top of you know at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Um, but it just seemed weird to see Michael sitting there with the families. Yeah, it did. And if he does take over, I don't, I can't see that happening. And and Paul said, what did Paul say? 
say to him, I can't see you in that position. No, I can't either. I That's can't either. I, I, no, no I actually, actually like him better at doing the quarter main business. And if anybody was to take over, I think it should be Morgan once he gets on his bipolar medicine. Yeah, he's, and once he's, he's more. Up, he fits that role better than Michael does. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Um. Okay, I think that's it on GH right now. Like Paula said, there's not much going on. So let's move on to Dave so we can bring poor Carolyn in. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot going on on Dave. Carolyn, thanks for joining Carolyn? us, and thank you for holding on. <laughs> can you thank hear you. me? Can that's a song. Yeah. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. <laughs> How are well, you? I'm good, I'm good. Well, it's been Good. the busiest, what they said, the most watched week in seven months. I wonder, is that the old guard coming back, or is it to the storyline? The old guard I, has yeah, been back. Yeah, the, all the old ones, yeah, the old ones are coming back, Edward. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, so that's a good possibility. I mean, that's probably the majority of it, and some of it is the writing, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, it's getting... It uh, makes sense. Where, where, where would you like to begin, Carolyn? Um, with what happened today? <laughs> I didn't it, see today, oh, but uh, you can go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is Ben going to kill Will? Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Great soul. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's been written. As a matter of fact, I posted something on Facebook last night Um with the actors um, talking, uh, the actor, what's his, what's his Will's real name? Guy Wilson. Guy, oh, Guy right. Wilson. Okay. He, they did an interview with Guy Wilson, and he talked about his exit and saying that it's storyline related and he understands it's business and this is just the way they want to go with it. But I think it's a huge, huge mistake. Whether Will was gay or not um, has nothing to do with it. I think it's a huge no. mistake because of his role uh, in, in Salem since the day of his birth. Yep. No. Especially. Yes, it's a real a real shakeup. Now, what is this about Sammy coming back? Well, um, of course, because Alex Will is going to get killed, so Sammy's got to come back. Oh, that's that, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. She she'll be back. She said, I guess. Did it say Monday, the twelfth? Monday, yeah, Monday. Yeah. Yep. She comes back to. She wants to know who who was um, behind her son's death, and she's. So I'm assuming that he's going to get killed off tomorrow. Look. Yeah, yeah he, mean, found the tie, he found the tie in the trash uh, today. A little so. tight. Oh, okay. Tight, right. yeah. Yeah, he just found, yeah, Will found the tie in the trash right at the end of today's. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, then he'll probably get killed off tomorrow. Um, and Allison Sweeney was very vocal in saying that she disagreed with the storyline as well. It broke her heart. Yeah. More or less. Mm-hmm. Well, she's been on there forever, too. I mean, we watched her grow up, basically. Yep. You know, and then for her to start her family, and this is her, you know, her oldest child. So I I can understand that, and I totally agree with her. Um, Now, is Allison coming back just as a cameo, or is she going to be a regular again? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. No. She's just coming back. She's coming back for the fiftieth, basically. Okay. You know, that was the reason they brought her back, and then they did the storyline of killing off Will. So, um, those are the two reasons. Um, As far as the other storylines, JJ. The last I saw, JJ was with that nutcase Clyde. And, and the cops got came and cops came and rescued him and arrested Clyde. So did anything happen with that today? Yeah, he ben. Clyde got, Clyde's out. Um, 
for now because I guess he's going to Florida for extradition. <laughs> Aiden came by and gave Roman some extra information regarding Clyde and what he was Aiden was telling Roman why he dropped Clyde as a uh client client as a client and so that added more for Roman's leverage okay and I hope I said I'm going I am going like this I'm watching this like uh I'm watching this about three o'clock this afternoon, and I said, "Are you going to tell him that you, he beat the crap out of you? Please tell him he beat the crap out of you. <laughs> that will help it along, you know." Yeah, and tell him why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. just it. If the yeah. truth comes out about that, then he's going to have to explain to um, Hope why that was done, unless he lies about that part as well. Yeah, he was. Just, he just um, took it off as an, an embarrassment, and then because he did, he did tell Roman, he did tell Roman that he was threatening Chase. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. He did. Did you watch did today's tell- Carolyn? Yeah, I watched today's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and. So we have quite a, uh, the dynamic is with um, Abby and uh, Chad and um, Ben. I don't know how that's all going to, that's going to fall down. Poor Abby. Yeah, well, you know Abby and ben, uh, Abby and Chad are going to end up together. And when the truth comes out that Ben is the killer, I mean, that's how that's probably going to happen. And did you see when she opened the drawer to get the sweater out that the tie was there, but she didn't see it because? And then Chad yeah. walked in through the window. Mm, yeah. Oh, it was the tie. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah the tie, the necktie. What? Neither yeah. one of you saw the tie when she took the sweater out. I saw something, that, but I, I saw, didn't know it was a tie. Something fall. I think I didn't see it right away, but it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those red ties. So maybe even she'll discover it and and tell Chad. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. Um, Because eventually, you know, he's going to get caught. And maybe it'll be her that catches him when she finds the red tie and then talks to Chad, and then maybe they go to the police. Um, Oh, yeah. You know, that's about uh, one of the ways that I'm figuring out that that could come to light. Um, I do love that Victor is standing by Chad, although do you guys, either one of you know in real life, is does he have any problems where he's in that wheelchair? And, I mean, I know he just had an excursion, uh, you know, as far as on days itself where he uh, had that heart attack or whatever, um, but... Do you think that, because he hasn't been doing too much talking is what I'm trying to say. Andre has Vic, really been Stefano. doing. Or Stefano, I'm no, sorry. Stefano. 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 Stefano is what I meant to say. Um, he hasn't been doing much talking, and Andre has been, like, in control of everything. Yeah. Uh, something must be going on with Joe and, and, uh In real life? In real life, I think. I hope and not. Santa. I hope it's just a character thing. Or so maybe. I love him. May, or, yeah, he he comes on every now and then. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is just like a character-driven or maybe. Maybe it's just a character-driven thing, oh, hopefully. Well, let's hope so, yeah. Um, I'm excited and ecstatic that Teo Pengelis is back. Um, I absolutely love him. I think he's a great actor. I loved him on all the soaps that he's been on, and I absolutely love that he's back on Days. It's a great, uh, he's a great asset. Yeah, he's, mm-hmm. yeah, he is. He's going to stir and things I'm, up. Yeah. And I'm trying to know how they have to explain now that how Andre is really Stefano's son and not just his nephew now. 
Well, why should when, they? Well, I mean, because he, Andre told Chad, well, I'm your brother, because Chad's like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> that cracked that crack me up. <laughs> well, so okay. he said, I'm your brother, and I was kind of confused as to why he said that. So are we are we trying to think that he was Tony's twin brother? I don't know, maybe. Because I'd... because Tony isn't Stefano's son, I don't think. Carolyn, I you go he back was. further. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I, I thought didn't he think was. He too. was. I... Yeah. Because that's why he could rem- that's why he could marry Renee all the all the way back. Because back then I don't yeah. Uh, I, I don't Renee, know. Do you remember Renee, Pam? Do you remember her? No, I'm I'm all the way back. Must, no. I I watch days on and off throughout the years. It's only been regular for the past you know, maybe a couple of years that I've watched it regular. So I only remember bits and pieces of things from way back when. Yeah, this is this is when I was first watching it in the beginning and I was and when they brought first had Tony and Stefano on and Tone Tony had a thing for Renee and Renee had something for Tony but they couldn't be together because they found out they were brother and sister. Because Renee was Stefano's daughter. Daughter. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Right. So Andre maybe yeah. was a twin and was was raised as a cousin instead. Yeah. Somehow. Oh, that. Oh, that makes sense. That makes. I don't sense. know. I don't know. I'm just trying to explain. I always know he was cousin Andre. And this is the first I this is the first I knew about the brother thing. Now, I don't know if it was settled before because I can't remember. There's some things I can remember, some things I can't, because I remember when they brought him on be- back um, some years ago that, um, and they had him both on. No, they brought Tony on. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, yeah. let's get back I'm to different. present time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're go- we're so going I'm, on I'm, an hour and a half here, so and I wanted to keep I it to know. an hour if possible. But let's get back to present time and uh, talk about what else is going on. Uh, oh. Eduar- Eduardo is um, Rafe's dad. Yeah, how shocking uh, was that? Yes, yes, and then Rafe was upset because he didn't really get to know Paige, his sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, that's was, that's extremely sad. Yes, yes. It, the one yeah, thing I don't, the one thing I don't understand is why Rafe didn't tell his sisters um, right away, or his sister, because there's only one left. Yeah. Right. You know that that's their father. Maybe just trying to, to protect her, is, you know, because he was saying stay away from her. Um, but to you know to tell her that she had a sister at least. Well, did she didn't? Gabby never knew Paige because she was in no. jail. Well, that that's that's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, that'll be interesting when uh, right. Gabby yeah, finds man. out. That'll be a good storyline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And I absolutely love that Gabby is back, um especially with Will no, being killed off, you know, at least the mom is back for the baby. So, you know, the baby has somebody in her life. Although I know yeah. Sunny Sunny might have come to town, you know, when Will gets killed and you know, take over yeah. baby duties if Gabby was still in jail, but I much prefer that Camila is back. Yeah. I like I like her. She's she's sweet. Mhm. Yeah, and I think she's a good actress too. 
Yeah. Now, I, the other thing I wanted to bring up is David okay. knows how I feel, and I think other people, some other people know. I've yeah. never ever liked the character of Teresa because it, it, yeah, she's, know. you know, there's there's the ones that we spoke about that you love to hate and hate to love, but she right. was just one I disliked altogether. I just. You hate to there hate. was no there yeah. was no redeeming qualities about her until now. Yeah. No, she's beca- yeah, she's becoming that sweet side is coming out. Mhm. Yeah. And now yeah. I actually enjoy watching her. And, and I, even I, read felt, somewhere I even felt yeah. sorry for her at one point yeah. because she yeah. wants Brady so bad. <laughs> bad. I know. Do you think it's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. What were you going to say, Caroline? Uh, oh, I read, Caroline. I read, I'm I read, thinking of I read. Caroline on days. <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> I get Carol, Caroline, Car- Caroline. Um, I read somewhere that Teresa's leaving. What? Where? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to start taking oh. notes. No, they said uh, she's going to go for her singing career. Well, from what I understood, she was doing both. But I didn't. I didn't read I didn't, anywhere I didn't. that she was leaving. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw a snippet somewhere uh, about Teresa. Well, Teresa you're going to have to dig leaving. that out. You're okay. going to have to find it. You're going to have to do some spy. You're going to have to do some investigative work <laughs> because I want to know about that. Um, the, I mean, well, you'll be happy. You know, you'll just, be happy. <laughs> it, well, no, I won't because, like I said, I actually like her now, and I actually feel bad for her. She's trying so hard. Um, with Brady, with the baby, with the new company, you know, this is a whole new make... side of Teresa. So I, wa- see, I, I well, actually seems, like seems to enjoy be, watching seems, her. Yeah, there seems to be a pattern when they start getting really good and the fans start, you know, liking them, then they leave. Uh, then no. the last, I would say, six months, I, you know, I thought, oh, um, Cassie's leaving, right? Yeah. yeah, she's already yeah. gone. Well, we don't know how. Oh, she's gone. Is she gone already? Yes. Mm. Yeah, because but they, we're supposed to see her. I think I seen that she said January. Because you know they record they these things, things many many yeah. months in advance. Five. So. Okay. Five months in advance. Because I thought her uh, her uh, acting in the last. Uh, Month, couple oh of months have been outstanding, outstanding. That oh funeral, my God. funeral scene was extraordinary. Yeah. Now she oh. definitely deserves a daytime Emmy for this role. Yes. Yeah. At least you know? a nod. Oh no, she needs to win. <laughs> um, she needs to win. For real. I mean, yeah. she's really knocked it out of the ballpark. I mean, just think about the way she came in, too. She's almost like another Teresa, yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know, with being how she was, um, she was so evil. Teresa. She was but Teresa. We, no, we saw her soft side with Paige. Right. But when she first came on, when the character was first introduced, she was... As bad as she was now. Mm, yeah, I guess so. I mean, we're going after Jen and stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's 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 right. That's right. And what about uh, Bo? Uh, that's, Yay! Uh, <laughs> now is he dead or is he, isn't he dead? No. Who's setting no. that up? He's yeah. Not. The 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 tape. No. Did you see? It was on. Wasn't it yesterday's where he said, "I'm going home" yesterday. after he beat the crap yep. out of uh, the two people that were holding yep. him hostage. The two hoods. Okay, okay, but Patch yep. saw the the video that he was in the body yes. bag and dragged out. Yeah. Yes. So him and Victor That's right now think that Bo is dead. Right. right. Okay. And I lo- I love Carolyn's. What do you call that? Intuition? I love how that... <laughs> Caroline, you mean? Yeah. Yours too, Caroline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, um, yes, the... Um, yeah, you know what I bonding. mean? The bonding. The bo- yes, the bonding yeah. with, uh, yeah, the with bonding. her son. And, yes, in and out. And, no, that's... Uh, 
that's clever. I I thought that was very clever how they've brought that in. I I'm enjoy I'm enjoying that. That part I like. I think maybe that's part of the illness. No, you know I mean, what? It's it's part of that probably, but it's also mother child intuition because <clears throat> in real life it does happen. Um I have to say that a lot of the times that I feel there's something wrong with one of my children, especially my oldest one, it comes mm-hmm. it's it's true. It's true. I'll get a phone call or a text or something saying, Mom, such and such happened, whatever and I felt it like days before, you know, he would call and tell me. So I believe in that mother child intuition, that connection. Yeah, only, me too. Oh, yeah. yeah. The only difference is mine is not in detail like Psychic Caroline's. <laughs> 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 uh, I just know there's something wrong, you know. That's it. I don't know what or who okay. or why or, you know, I just know something's wrong. But, uh, yeah, yeah, hers was pretty vivid in detail. Yes. And then it made everyone shake up a little bit, especially Steve and Victor. Yeah. Yeah. Then, but I'm, then we'll I did um did Victor and Steve talk about telling anybody else today? No, they didn't show no. that today. No. no. They didn't show. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I was just wondering they, because a hope knew something was going on. And they they decided that maybe it's best that they already think he probably he's gone. Uh, let don't let them get their hopes up to let them. Well, yeah, again. I I I saw the part where he was saying, you know, hope already thinks that it's everything's done, and you know why let her grieve him all over again? But I didn't know if something else happened today because hope suspects something. She could tell that something was going on with Victor and Steve. So I didn't know if today possibly Hope had said, hey, guys, what's going on? You know, what do you, what do you keep in secret? You know, something's going on. Did you learn something about Bo? Because she knew that Steve was off trying to find Bo, right? Yeah, she knew it. Okay. Kayla told All right. Kayla. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's training. another that's another one that broke my heart was Kayla and those scenes with Caroline. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Should oh she, my God. She is a do- as and a those doctor. Flashbacks, oh. Those flashbacks. Yeah. Oh, they did that. Yeah. Yeah, that was well, uh, uh, a good one. All the snippets of uh, years ago. No, they're mm-hmm. uh, they're doing an excellent job with that. Yeah, yeah I mean, look at, you know, you think when you watch these actors daily, you don't think that they age until they show flashbacks. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, look I at Caroline. Look at Caroline. How much, I I mean, I, I knew she had aged some, of course. You know, I'm not blind. But right. when they showed that flashback with her, with Mary Beth, and, and uh, or Kayla, you know, with the baby, I was like, oh, my God. And then the flashback of her and Victor kissing, and look at Victor. Oh, <laughs> remember when. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, the, yes. the dark hair. And... Wow. Dark. I mean, what a difference. I mean, he looked like a virile young man. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long has Caroline been on the show? What's her real name? Caroline. Uh, Peggy McKay. Oh, right. I don't know. I'm because of I'm not watching it from the beginning and throughout the years. I I'm assuming she's been on there almost from the get go. Has she, yeah. David? From I think from when the Brady's first came on. I think um, right around. Oh, it's I'm saying thirty years. I would imagine at least that. Yeah. No, yeah, well, definitely. Me- Maybe a little, maybe a little more, maybe not quite. Well, either um, way, we still got to see her age too. So. <laughs> yeah. And she's you know, a, a, 
a, a phenomenal role model. She, oh, yeah. You know, she's been the matriarch and done wonderful things and mm-hmm. with her, you know, it was very touching this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I, she's playing this role to the hilt. She's another one, actually, that deserves an Emmy. Um, mm-hmm. it, the only thing that I do not like, in a way, is that they changed her from having Alzheimer's to this whatever disease she supposedly has now. But then again, I do like that they changed it if this medication that they gave her is going to give her her life back, whereas we know Alzheimer's does not have a cure. Right. Well, yeah. it, it, are the symptoms um, that she's and, having, and have they, uh, don't they mimic Alzheimer's? Yeah. Yeah, they mimic yeah. it. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't that's exactly what they said. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they said. They says it mimics it, but it's not. And how they came to that conclusion, I don't know. But now they gave her the meds, so let's see what happens. Yesterday she was, you know, pretty clear thinking, um, other than not remembering how she got to where she was. So um, in the hospital, looks promising. Yeah, yeah. So who else do we want to talk about? Um, let me see. Who's left? Sean Christian. Oh, uh, okay. Daniel? Get it? Daniel? Yep, let's get a handkerchief for Pam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to hold my own memorial at home. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I am, too. I like him. I always liked him. I love him. I just absolutely love him. There's a divide in fans. Um, you either like them or you don't, and I happen to be one of the ones that do. I, and I, I, know, like. I, yeah. I know that he's going to get killed off, and it's not going to be part of the Ben thing. It's going to be in a different way. And I so hate that the they're killing thing. him off. I hate that they're killing him off. Now, what is uh, the reason? Anyone know? He's it moving on to greener pastures. He, 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 just did a, he just did another um, uh, movie for, uh, right. was it the Lifetime Channel? I mean, he's done those in, in yeah, the past. And maybe. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He's going yeah. to leave days to pursue his other dreams and he's been busy behind the scenes doing movies and stuff so and i mean i wish him well yeah uh, that i don't know that i don't know he's going to be yeah he's going to be uh sorely missed so him and nicole are not going to get together they're not going to get no 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 no. i wonder if they'll make it and then i hope i hope that um since they're not going to be together i'd like to see her back with eric Mm, yeah, that mm. that that could. I I, I want Eric to find somebody. <laughs> please, please. He's he's a good actor too. I love him too. Um, I loved him on General Hospital when he played Lucky. That was one of the few recasts of Lucky that character. Um, I didn't think anybody could replace Jonathan Jackson, but I think Greg Vaughn hit it out of the park. I absolutely fell in love with him as Lucky. And when I found out he was on Days, I thought, oh, this is going to be strange. But, you know, you always have that feeling when you watch them for so long in another role. But I I fell in love with him as Daniel. And it's just, I guess it has part of it, if you think about it, how much you really like that actor in real life and how mm-hmm. well they can and how well they can act. That makes it. you accept them. Yeah, that makes you accept yeah. them. So, you know, there's some that I can say, nope, I don't accept them as so and so. Like I did earlier with uh, with Dylan, the role of Dylan, I still can't get Scott out of my mind playing that role. Um, right. Where this kid, this kid has not pulled me in yet. Maybe it's going to take a while. I don't think he's a bad actor. He's just a different actor. Yeah. So. And especially when you you know you you like one, um, there's just some they aren't going to replace them no matter no matter mm-hmm. what whether they're good actor or bad actor, it's just right the visual the visual, it, the visual. right right exactly yeah. exactly, 
And then there's some that you can do it really easily with, which is, you know, Justin playing the role or just yeah, Justin playing the role of Adam where right. I never thought anybody would be replacing, you know, be able to replace Michael Mooney. Um right. on general, I mean on Young and the Restless, and I've accepted him rather easily because Justin's a phenomenal actor and easy on the eyes. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. easy on the eyes. <laughs> so, yeah, but there's others like, you know, nobody else could play Laura other than Jeannie Francis, although at one point there was another girl that played her. Uh, it yeah, that I think Jeannie Francis wasn't available or something. I, I I can picture the girl in my mind, but I don't remember her name. It was for a short time, but uh, yeah, nobody else can play that role um, other than Jeannie Francis. So, and the um, fans, the fans, they wouldn't accept that. Then I remember mm, uh, the controversy. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's only one. Yeah, well, think now, about it. I mean, from- think. Think about somebody else playing Caroline. No. Mm. No, right? No, yeah. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not going to happen. No. <laughs> unless, unless, like, um, what they do, unless, the like, the actress is ill and she's just filling in. Well, yeah, that that's easy to accept then, so... Yeah, um, they used to no. do, they used to do that more often than they do mm-hmm. now. You know, they I gave know. them a break and then they then they came back and by the time you got used to them, they were gone. Uh, what part exactly. is uh, Vincent Nazari going to uh, play? Who who was he going to? Um, um, I he from what I read, and I'm not. He is um, going to be um, connected to Victor. Okay, so. Uh, Another yeah, relative. I have no idea. I haven't read I don't anything. know how. I don't know how. I didn't say relative. I don't know if it's a relative or not, but I just said that he's going to that he's going to be connected to yeah, Victor. I don't know for sure. Well, I oh, want to start. Do you know what my guess is? I'm guessing that he's the one holding bow. Oh, hmm. Um, I don't know. Could be. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. We're down to 20 minutes here. I didn't want to go two hours, and it's going two hours. So um, let's talk about anything else on days that's going on currently. Um, no, no, I can see. Oh, Eduardo's... Um, Reward for capturing okay. Chad. Right, right. What, what do you about think? it? Well, it makes sense. I mean, that Over doesn't the surprise top? me. Over does the he top. Have the, yeah, does he have the money or doesn't he have the money? Yeah, but I think I think he has the money, and I don't think it's over the top. That was his daughter, so he wants to know who killed her. I uh, I don't like see that as a big phone. thing, huh? Uh, I I guess like people were taken aback a by that. I'm saying the characters, not people. I mean, but you thought you thought there's nothing. No, I was I was surprised. No, I was surprised that he when I heard he's offering one hundred thousand dollars, and my my. My um, exclamation point is, you have money? Yeah. <laughs> and where have you been? Uh, well, that's just you, it. We don't, we don't know if he has money or not because we don't know what he's been doing since he left all these families behind. Yeah, I know. You would think those those men that leave their families behind are like more like deadbeat dads. Well, and yes they, and no. A deadbeat dad doesn't mean you don't have money. You know, yeah, if you think about it in real could, life, I mean, that happens all the time. I mean, even why? even on TV, because I watched George Lopez faithfully every single night, and I could tell you the words to probably every episode that ever aired. And one of the episodes, George finds out that his father's alive, and, you know, 
George is a grown man at that point. He's 30-something years old. I think he was 35 in that episode. And and he goes search of his father. And, um, well, before that, his brother that he didn't know about, his half-brother, shows up, played by, uh, oh, that one actor, and I can't think of his name right now, uh, he, Lou Diamond Phillips, that's what it was. And they both have the same names and stuff like that. And so then Lou Diamond Phillips tells George that his father's rich. Well, no. he never gave he never gave George or George's mom any money, so that still makes him a deadbeat dad. Hmm. Well, so that makes make sense to me. Why, why he took off? So, so, and then you find out that he's been in world security. I don't know. No, well. Not- his character is too new for us to really discuss who it. he is and yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, connect the dots. Yeah, connect the right, dots. Exactly. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 The only yeah. thing right now you can do is guess, and, you know, we can guess till tomorrow, and we probably won't guess right, or we might guess right. So um, I'm glad that they brought A. Martinez in. I think he's another excellent actor. I've always enjoyed his work. And I'm happy to see him on days. I just wish Cassie was around for him and her to work things out and and more of a story. There's more story there that can be played out. Yeah, that would have been a a perfect uh, Mm -hmm. storyline. Yep. And these writers writers drop the ball sometimes where they shouldn't, and uh, I think this is one of them. Yeah. And even Ben, Ben's uh, his part is uh, really yeah getting good, and mm-hmm. I wonder what's going to happen to him if he's going to stay. No, I highly no. doubt that. Yeah. Once he once they find out he's the serial killer, I don't see him staying. Mm. No, he's either going to get killed or he's going to go to jail. So, and I I believe that the actor himself had put things out there about. Uh, you know, that his role is over, and, you know, I loved being on there. I loved everybody I worked with, and so that's a done deal. Not saying that and he can't come back. what about the baseball back. player? What about the baseball player, Sonny's uh, oh, Paul. love interest? Paul. What happened? Yeah, Paul. I haven't seen him lately. No, okay. no. Um, the last I saw, he was talking to John... Um, kind of like a father-son talk about sports and stuff like that, and and John yeah. saying he wishes that he would have been around, you know, would have known and been around for him growing up, and you know the baseball thing. But uh, I think that's the last time I saw Paul. Yeah. So I wonder okay. if they're going to bring that to him and Sonny get back together. If Will's if Will's going to be killed off. But Sonny's not staying. Oh, he isn't. I don't think he's staying. Oh, no, he's just kind of, oh. No, uh, uh, um, unless things have changed. But that's the last I saw that he's not staying. He's just making an appearance um, with all this stuff going on. So uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? Because yep. there's they're going to have to come up with another gay character for Paul to get involved with. Yeah. Um. Plus, he's got more family to meet coming up. That's now. right. That's right. He's got his sister. He's yeah. going he's gonna yeah. to be meeting his sister pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think we've covered days, so. Covered days. Um, just so everybody knows that's listening, I've started a new page on Take2Radio.com. And I'm asking everybody what their favorite soap is and why. And it could be a current one, it could be a canceled one, and it could be multiple ones. So if you tweet it to me, I will go ahead and post those on to that page. And it's under the tab that says Take Two Radio Soap Review, Soaps and Review. Um, there's a tab below it, and you can find it says uh, what's your favorite and uh, soap and why. And I've got quite a few of them on there now, and it's interesting to see, you know, who people are saying that their favorites are. But I also found that um, when I looked up the list of soaps, daytime soaps, 
right. that we at one point had 27 daytime soaps. <laughs> On at the same time. Yeah. And we're down to four. No, they yeah. weren't on all at the same time, David. No. But we, no. they were on and off. But now. in the daytime soap world, we had 27. And we're down to four, and I find that extremely sad. So uh, what I, I want to say in regards to that as well is whether you like the storyline or not, do not stop watching it because you know that this this happens. You're not going to like something, but then they're going to write something that you would enjoy and you're not watching it, so you're going to miss out. Also, we don't want the last four that we have to go away as well. No, we don't. That's for sure. That's for sure. So we need to get a grassroots movement going here. If you love well, the that's what we- Mm-hmm. That's what we've been doing, you know, and that's why yeah. we do the show to keep it, you know, alive and kicking. Um, yeah. You will also see the 27 soaps I'm talking about. I have them listed as well as each one of their logos on a slideshow. So check that out, and if you'd like to be on there with your favorite soap and why, uh, just tweet at T2R Soaps Review or at Take Two Radio. Or at Pam72210, or you can even tweet David and he'll let me know. And his yeah. is at Take Two Radio Crew. And um, Carolyn is at Barefoot Blonde yeah. with the number five. So, you know, anybody that wants to do that, you know, I'm more than happy to post it. And Carolyn, you'll have to get me yours, even though you've only watched days. But you can tell <laughs> you can tell me why you love watching that show, and I'll post that on there. Okay, and we're going to have to get you a hashtag. Do you have a hashtag? <laughs> no. No, I no. don't. Uh-uh. Get you a hashtag. Yeah, well, leave it to Carolyn to think the business end of it. (laughs) (laughs) So here we go, almost two hours. I'm going to thank you all for joining me, listeners and my co-hosts. It's been enjoyable. We'll be back again in two weeks, so we hope that you'll join us. And if you missed any of the other podcasts that we've done, of course, you can listen to them at Take2Radio.com, as well as Blog Talk Radio, TuneIn, Stitcher, and Spreaker, which are all mobile apps, so you can listen to them on your phone. And my and stats show forget. my my stats show me that most of you uh, listen into the shows from your phone. So I'm so happy that we do have those apps, and we are those on those. Um, also, two. iTunes. And also there's another iTunes. way. And one more. One more way. Okay. We're waiting. <laughs> and that is if you have Apple TV, you can listen. The podcasts are listen, are listed on Apple TV, and you can go to podcasts and then go do a search, and then it should come up. And then oh, you can okay. Listen on, and well, that's I've good listened, to know. Yep, because okay. I've listened to a couple of shows on Apple TV, and they come out real well. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. good to know. That's another place that you can listen in if you have that. Um, I don't have Apple. I don't have a Mac. I don't have any iPhone or any of that other stuff. So um, that's good to know. All right, guys. Well, half the, have yeah, a, half the world, all the millennials have that. So. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. We've got to go after them. We've got to go after them. Hashtag yeah. <laughs> millennial. <laughs> the young one. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you again in two weeks for another episode of Take Two Radio Soaps and Review. But we are back as Take Two Radio on October 13th, which is a Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to have the Hulu series called South Beach, uh, the creator and writer, Brian Hurwitz, as well as the director, Joshua Caldwell, and the star of the show, Jordi Villasuso. So join us at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on October 13th. 
I will be posting that on Take Two Radio probably tonight, as well as uh, doing an episode, scheduling an episode on Blog Talk Radio. So if you follow us at Blog Talk Radio, you'll be able to get an email each and every time we have a guest or a show, and you'll never miss one. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.